You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, the AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's Survivor After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Survivor After Show. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Survivor fans, Bing is for doing, and we're doing our season finale episode for Survivor Season 25, The Philippines, episode 15. Thank you guys for joining us. Today, we are, unfortunately don't have AJ. He went home for the holidays, but replacing him, we have the one, the only, Abby Maria Gomez. All so right. thank you. And as always, we have... Christina Cha from Survivor One World. And... The and the one Brian, and only. The one, one and go ahead and just introduce me. Christina. I love you because I love you. <laughs> just go ahead and introduce me. Brian Carrillo. All my titles. Carrillo. Carrillo. So Hello, everybody. Glad to be back. Glad to be back. Glad to have you back. And later on, we're going to have calls from Carter. We're going to have Sarah Dawson and Survivor One World's Matt. So we have a jam-packed episode for you guys today. And let's get to it. Everybody's talking about it. The winner last night was Denise Denise I took it home. Rooted for her. I mean, she was the ultimate underdog. She went to every tribal council, and like her speech, it was, it was punchy. You know, she was snappy, and I was like, ooh, certain things that she said, I was afraid that it wouldn't win anyone's vote. I completely thought that too. I thought yeah. she was sort of reedy in her delivery, and she kind of like was like almost what was it, entitled sort of. Yeah. Like her speech well, wasn't very. She deserved very, to I be entitled. That, I don't know. I, I think saying deserved with survivors kind of weird, anyways. Mm -hmm. But I thought that her speech. I was like, I was like, oh, in my mind, I'm like, yeah, she shouldn't have said that. Can we also just point out too that she was my final fantasy? Ah, so he won. I am the winner of the Survivor Final <laughs> Fantasy, ladies we and gentlemen. We all owe him drinks. So yes. Abby, being there on the jury, listening to you know, we didn't see the full jury speeches. Did Denise come across in person as self-righteous or kind of cocky when you were listening to her? Definitely. As she says, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. But she owned it. She yeah. owned it. And you know, like, what what made me vote for her, my mom still was upset that I voted for her. Because, you know, my mom, she's like, she was so mean to you. How could you? She owned it. Yeah. And she apologized at the end. Mm -hmm. And she survived every tribal. That that did it for me. I'm like, that's why that that, that was your deciding factor. Yeah. No one has ever done that in Survivor history, exactly. and to be the first to yes. actually go to every tribal council and have that argument. How can you not vote for Denise? It's exactly. Kind of, it's the argument that Malcolm it's was trying to make. It's the Cinderella story in. of Survivor. You yep. know, it's, it's crazy. It's the Cinderella story. She <laughs> well, yeah, Cinderella. I know. <laughs> but I was actually shocked that you did end up voting for Denise because on the island, you guys did go oh. head to head. You battled it out personally, not in terms of necessarily strategy in the game, but personally. You guys were constantly at each other's throats, so I give you credit for making a choice and a vote beyond emotions, which I think is great. Strategy. Mm -hmm. I also she think was, that a, a lot yeah. of your banter was, though, like not to each other's face. Mm -hmm. A lot of it was in the interviews. You know, Denise really didn't confront her that much. She True. said a lot later, which I'm sure. How did you feel seeing like all it the was interviews? Mostly later in the confessionals, right? Right. You know, the confess. I'm okay with the confessionals because you're in the game. Right. When you're in the game, you know, I. You said stuff too. Yeah. I mean, yeah, everybody <laughs> says stuff. Everyone. You know, one leaves there like you know, yeah. squeaky clean. So when you're in the game, I'm okay. You know, I think it's you know, in the game. You know, I'm I'm the player. It's okay. They can talk as much crap as they want. Mm -hmm. But what hurts me is the exit interviews. Like okay. after the fact, that's just like 
it's over, game is over, why are you still bitter? Mm -hmm. So I, I was okay with, you know, watching the confessionals. That didn't hurt me that much. One of the most poignant moments in the, the finale was actually when Jeff approached you and said, what did you take away from this? And you kind of got emotional and said, you know, you learned a lot about yourself, and that you're going to change your, your ways from seeing what you saw on television. So For can sure. you speak a little bit about what you learned and what you said last night? It was a huge growth experience, you know? I mean, just watching me and how abrasive I can be, like mm -hmm. super passive aggressive. I mean, I really need to think a lot more before I speak and just like, you know, learn how to communicate a little better. Yeah. So. But you know, when they're talking about villains that are all throughout the game, they try to compare you to Alicia. And you know, my argument is that like, Abby Maria is not a malicious person. If anything, she's playing this game with her heart. Your and, good friend, Alicia. Uh, or besties at heart. Enemies. So, um, and then just, you know, watching you, you know, you didn't do anything that was like conniving or underhanding. You never did anything to hurt anyone intentionally. You were very blunt. straight up. You were very yeah. blunt. Yeah. Blunt. It's yeah. great. Well, let me tell you what Lisa said yesterday. Christina, well, we actually all went to the finale, but Christina and I, we did the red carpets. You know, Justin wasn't invited to that. <laughs> uh, no, he was. I'm not an insider. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we interviewed the final four, which it should have been the final five. Let's break I that down. I know. But Lisa, you know, we went around and asked, like, you know, now that they've had a chance to hang out with you after the game, you guys, you know, we did the Jeff Probst show, and you guys were doing that, doing some press and stuff, so you had some time to interact outside of the game. And, like, Lisa said, you know what, the best thing about Abby is that she's completely owned up to it. Mm -hmm. Like, while she was on the mm -hmm. show, she admits she's like, listen, you know, I, you know, had some faults, you know, and you even said it on the show and like tonight, yesterday and like, so I thought that was really big of you to just admit, hey, you know, I have a lot of growth. That Coming from Lisa, that's huge. Yeah. Right. No, it was, it was great. And what's also great is so many players in the past who got, you know, who came across as you did will blame the edit. I got a bad yeah, edit. No, you know, I you did took say those things and I did yeah. act poorly. Yeah. So you got to own for it. You, you got to own it. Absolutely. Yeah. When was it in the series where you actually were watching the game and you think, thought to yourself, Man, I really am coming across. Am I really mm -hmm. this way? After the reward. Oh. oh my God, I wouldn't stop talking. <laughs> I just but you were was... starving so long, and you're just like, this is the first time. And you guys know I tore my ACL day one, right? right. I yeah. went through surgery. So wow. I was in pain, excruciating pain the whole time, starving and tired. But when I watched myself, talking and I wouldn't stop. Yeah. So what was the process? Were you at home watching? Were you out I was with at friends? Home watching, and were you just like mortified? By myself, Did you watch it again? Mortified. Wow. I went through like five uh. bottles of wine that night. <laughs> 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 and you did that last night too, right? Celebrating. Yeah. <laughs> or we tequila got a little shots, crazy. right? Yeah. yeah, everybody yeah, we're all here drunk. was out we're, late last night yeah. but myself. I had to get to bed early for You work. were still out getting crazy. Yeah, but I saw bit. you, you were a few drinks uh, in. Two, that's it. But it was, we're so excited to have you here because there's so much in the actual episode we want to talk about mm -hmm. and to get your perspective as well. First thing up, one of the big things was instead of having an immunity challenge, it was the final four and we had a reward challenge. Yes. And in the reward challenge, it was a three-step obstacle course where the Collecting player... Collecting puzzles, collecting yeah. the bags, running and climbing over the uh, slide and then building <coughs> out this dragon puzzle piece, which looked really complicated. Totally. Yeah. Wild. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. And the, the the benefit of the reward was you're going to get an advantage <clears throat> to two. the final immunity challenge. And we know someone here who likes getting advantages and challenges. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Unfortunately, he couldn't pull a panner in an Abby. I know. I know. Poor shaky hands. Yeah. So basically, Malcolm mm -hmm. won the reward challenge and took the advantage to the mm -hmm. immunity challenge, which you want to explain what the immunity challenge was, Ryan? Um. Yes. They had, what was it, little pieces of wood. Mm -hmm. And you had to put two pieces of wood and Stick. hold it hold it steady and hold a silver ball on the middle which you know Malcolm admitted that's like when he knew that that's what the challenge was that he knew he was in trouble because yeah. he's not mm -hmm. a steady kind of hand guy yeah. period and everybody going to the challenge was Malcolm has an advantage <laughs> he's gonna There's, win he's anyways. gonna win there's mm -hmm. no you know we're not gonna stop him he's gonna win the game he's got it on lock and so the advantage in the challenge was he got two chances to do mm -hmm. the challenge compared to one, which mm -hmm. is huge. Because mm -hmm. in, in a lot of these times in Survivor, when they get to these challenges of balancing, it literally comes down to seconds. So Malcolm, right away, within about five or one of his second try, he fell. He fell. Right. It yeah, fell. there was no It was way. weird when he yeah. dropped it. He actually looked like he was, I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. He, like, lifted it up or something, but, like, it just he just and, does not focus that way. And you could just tell mentally on his face he was out. He, he psyched himself out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He kind of, you know, was just so shaky. Hey, guys, I that. have... Our uh, first caller, oh. special guest on the line. Fantastic. All right, All right. Christina. Who's, who? So we have Carter Williams from the Survivor Philippines. Hey, hey how you doing? Carter! 
Carter, What's you're alive. What's up, baby? <laughs> you made it. You're alive. <laughs> I miss you, Carter. You're officially an uh, ex-reality star. Is Abby there right now? I am right here. She's here getting crazy. Oh. I am getting crazy. <laughs> crazy I'm, woman. I'm still drunk from last night. <laughs> so, Carter, work. Carter, what was the whole finale experience like for you now that it's the morning after? Other than showing your abs to everybody <laughs> on Saturday night. Oh, oh I didn't see your abs. That was abs. awesome. <laughs> That's really all I remember. <laughs> I have a picture. Just the abs. I don't know if, I, if that's all I remember or if that's all I forget, but that was awesome. <laughs> One of the things you were showing me off, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you um, know, we got to make you feel special. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, One of the things we talked a lot about on our after show was how it seemed like you were very quiet the entire season. And even Jeff Probst at the finale said, Carter, when we interviewed you, you were bubbly, you were outgoing. What kind of changed on the show for you? Because it seemed like you were more of like holding in with your personality. Yeah, well, just ask Abby how I acted after reward challenges. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, they just. <laughs> it really has to do with the energy yeah. level, right? Like, if you don't have food, you're just pretty much dead. You're quiet. But if you do have food, that's when you start having energy. Yeah. Yeah. And they would and they would give us like alcohol, and we have like no body fat out there, you know, and we're so hungry, and we'd just be off the ball goofy. But yeah, that had like a big, you know, they're like I I am energetic and goofy and you know funny and crazy, but that game gets so intense, you know, and um, all the times that you are having fun, it's like that doesn't ever seem to make the cut. So, um, <laughs> but we and then it just kind of came like, on all the you challenges. know, I was hanging low. Yeah. He was pretty pissed that I beat him. He's like, I can't believe a girl beat me. <laughs> the, the, the oh, one my God. That I won. Yeah, well, he was pissed. <laughs> way to throw the girl in there. Um, <laughs> Dave, that <laughs> throw the bus. kill me. <laughs> part, yeah, her keep, ACL. Help, keep helping that <laughs> reputation. <laughs> he's a cro he's a CrossFit god. Yeah, wow. being beat by that Brazilian booty. Mm -mm. <laughs> you ended up. No, I couldn't beat that. I couldn't beat that Brazilian booty. She she handed me my heart on a platter that day. That that was hard. He was dead. So who did you vote for, Carter? I voted for Scoopin. Why? Uh, you know. It's kind of interesting, and I was saying this out there. Um, we see a lot of things differently than how they're portrayed on the show. Mm -hmm. um, so everyone, you know, I think everyone in the audience kind of thought it was for sure a lockdown between um, either Malcolm and Denise. And I knew Denise was like this really hardworking lady who was awesome in challenges, um, but I, I didn't see a lot of her gameplay. It kind of just seemed like she was, um, you know, maybe riding the coattails of Malcolm. But that, again, that's just what I saw from being out there where you're kind of um, hearing things and, you know, that Final Four happened. And I just didn't fully – I saw it through a different perspective. And I'm not saying I would change my vote or anything. I'm just saying um, we see things differently than how they're shown on TV. So – I saw Scoopin as this hardworking guy who was awesome in challenges, who, uh, you know, told me that we were going to be in an alliance, and then, you know, all of a sudden had this different one. So I didn't know, you know, who started that. And looking back, you know, you kind of, in the film, you kind of see that Malcolm incorporated that. But um, so, yeah, I, trust me, I was torn going into it. And um, I actually asked questions to everyone. They just, in the tribal, you know, you only have so much time. So they showed my question to Michael. Um, and, yeah, it's it's a really – that vote, like you guys know, it's just – it's tough to do. It's a hard <laughs> vote. Do you think um, having an alliance with Penner is what hurt you, and that's why you were the next one to go? Because it seemed like you were so close with Penner than really with Scoopin, based on the edit. Oh, yeah. Well, what – the reason I went was because there was a final four there and it was, you know, it was going to be between me, Pinner and Abby at that point. And, um, Pinner at home, you know, he's definitely threat can work magic, but what ultimately sent me home, I would say is that the Alliance I thought was there between me, Pinner, Scoop and Lisa just wasn't there. And, you know, I, they didn't, once again, a lot of things don't get shown, but they didn't show, but I had communicated several times with Penner and with Scoopin that we were good. You know, um, I didn't know that 
a handshake didn't take place. Yeah. Carter, and Carter, let's uh -oh. be honest here. Uh -oh. While St. You Home wasn't that. While St. You Home was because you were extremely amazing at challenges. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> you I think, know that. I think you, from a viewer's perspective, if Penner would have made that deal with Lisa and Scoop, and you would have been the fourth. So it would have been you and Penner versus Malcolm and Denise. Is that kind of what would have gone down? Me and Penner, um, yeah, that's what would have gone down. You know, and, and Malcolm said, you know, because I tell him, I was like, man, you would, you know, if we were shook hands, you would have home. And he, typical Malcolm, goes, I would have found a way to beat you guys. <laughs> wow. So, uh, and he had, a, he had an idol, so it would have been interesting, yeah. you know, if we would have tried to immediately blindside him or flush the idol in, you know, hope he didn't win challenges. He never played but it. But that would have been a really interesting thing. And so, yeah, you know, and it's um, just kind of interesting how they they chose, you know, to actually stay in that final four, you know, instead of maybe t going with Abby's argument and saying, like, hey, guys, take me because you can't beat them, too. <laughs> and I had another so, really good argument, too. Remember when we went to the reward and I was trying to divide the youngsters against the oldies? We should have done that. Oh, yeah. We should have done that. That would have been great. Yeah. That would have been great. That would have been great. We, yeah, that was in the shower think, scene, the bathtub, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're in the bathtub. And, you know, they didn't Abby show me more taking off my underwear. Oh, oh, right. I was, which I was like, why were you guys wearing your clothes in the bathtub? That was a little strange. Oh, Take it wears. off. Yeah. Carter, as one, of the as one of the jury members, if Abby would have been in the final three with Lisa and Scoopin, how do you think it would have gone down? You know what? Uh, I got asked that a few times in my interviews, and I, I truly think... Um, that if Abby had been in the finals and she had Pinner arguing for her, like, mm. so say she's sitting there and Pinner's giving, you know, why Abby deserves to win, I think she could have. Wow. I, I, when we were out there, I was going, man, we should be so much more fair with Abby because Abby can go, Abby could have gone, look, my alliance got annihilated. Mm -hmm. Like, totally blown the smithereens. I've been, I've had my back up against the wall since seven. I won an incredible challenge, and I'm here. Like, tell me how I did not play. Yeah. Tell me how I did not last you. You know, ultimate. And then, you know, if she would have been saying, "I outwit you," yeah, I, I had this character <laughs> because I wanted to be here. Like, that was be me outwitting you. You know, who wants to sit with this person at the end? And not, so, not uh, only that, it's the hardest thing is to be completely ostracized in your whole entire tribe, and never getting a chance to even move up i know the feeling you know there's other a players too right now. no it's true yeah, also yeah. philip shepherd had the same thing mm -hmm. completely ostracized in the game everyone ousted him out but they thought you know what he's a perfect candidate to mm -hmm. take all the way to the final yeah. and it's so hard and i you know i know you personally abby i think you're a wonderful person and like in a personal regular world you're you're smart you're articulate you're you know even though people make fun of you the way you talk you're a great human being I love it. and it's probably like the first time ever you're playing a game where nobody didn't like you and you're like this is so weird it sucked yeah, yeah. I really I literally yeah. have never had that happen to me I was really hurt like yeah and hearing that like they despise you like yeah, to that level tough. I was like oh my god I have to leave with these people that hate me it was well, awful. well Carter we want to thank you so much for calling in and giving us your perspective and awesome job congrats on getting on the show and doing a great job so congrats to you thank you love you baby I hey. miss you already we miss you too <laughs> I love you Abby thank you thanks guys it was, uh, guys it was awesome meeting you this weekend you guys were a blast great party for awesome. sure yeah, yeah. We'll I don't remember half of it but yeah it was fun <laughs> <laughs> We'll see you soon. Have a safe trip back. I think as someone, Love you guys. Ciao, Abby. Ciao. As someone who has, has not played the game and just has, you know, watched interviews of people when they're out of the game, when you're in the game, it's heated and argumentative, but it seems like afterwards, this experience connects you and bonds you in a way that nobody can explain. No right. So you're going to forgive each other. No so right. stab as many people in the back as you need to to get to the end. No right. I exactly. think that's the lesson no. you should take I, That's the game too. that Justin's going to play. <laughs> but I will say that there's some, some stuff bleeds over. Like, yeah. there's some on oh, my cast, I can't stand yeah. a lot of my cast. Yeah. Oh, Actually, true. almost all of them. Very true. <laughs> well, getting, getting, getting back to the game, the immunity challenge, basically... Malcolm got out, then Denise went, and then it was between Lisa and Scoopin. Scoopin pulled out the win, and it opened the door to who are Lisa and Scoopin in the driver's seat going to take to the finals with them? Are they going to take Denise, or are they going to take Malcolm? And it basically became the war between Denise versus Malcolm, which after 30 
eight days, however many days they worked together, they both severed the ties right. and said, we know we can't beat, or the hardest chance is to beat each other. We're going after each other. Lisa was way smarter on that. She saw the light. God way, spoke with her. Way earlier. <laughs> way earlier. <laughs> God she saw that her. when she found the idol. I know. Yeah. Like, she, she, knew. Knew. she knew. No one listened she to her. No one did. Yeah. And, like, no one listened to me. Yeah. I loved it, the travel council, where it was between Denise and Malcolm. Jeff Probst said along the lines of, Lisa, is Malcolm someone you want to keep in the game? And she basically was like, hell no, Malcolm's got to go. And right. it was well, awesome. She yeah. she said that the reason is because when she went up to him and asked him, like, hey, what are you going to do with immunity idol? Like, what's up with it? And he was like, oh, I don't know. I don't think, I think you're safe and everything. That was the indication to mm -hmm. her that that alliance has been diminished. Well, yeah. she also said there's oftentimes Clearly. that he was coming off a little bit cold, too, and she was just right. kind of reassuring yeah. the alliance, and you if see you're not that. a good liar, it's so obvious, because all of yeah. a sudden you're not interacting well, with them, because you feel guilty. And, and yeah, here's, right. I think, Malcolm, you know, he could have possibly been in the final three and won the game if he wouldn't have pulled a penner. Pulling a penner was not making that deal in the end of, yes, Denise, I am with you, we're going to vote off, you know, Lisa. Have Denise vote off Lisa and then just, you know, try and do something or right. vote with her. Vote Lisa with her. And even if it's a tie, it would be between Lisa and Denise, not Lisa. You know, just get a tie. I don't know. I just right. think he could have lied. He could have, you know, even he, in the end. He just got, he was too confident with himself. And that's what he said. Mm -hmm. He said that's he exactly was blindsided right. when he got voted off. And the reason was he was confident in the deal he made with Lisa and Scoopin. Yeah. You know, true. And, and I don't know. It made it look like they were had a solid alliance there too. And but. Abby, I don't know if you can speak on this, but I think so many people, Penner and Malcolm, underestimated Lisa and Scoopin as players in the game. Completely. They time I and time again underestimated Lisa. How many times did they blindside people or get people out that thought they were in alliance with them, but constantly people were shocked because they didn't give them the credit as being gamers in the show. Two when the show aired, I still didn't realize how close Scoopin and Lisa were. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Wow. It, they were really good. Yeah. It was like yeah. that secret relationship, like Very Chelsea secret. and Kim. Yeah. Right. And you're like, you didn't even know about it. Peter and Artis. Peter and because <laughs> I kind of like, I felt it. You know, I have really good intuition. And mm -hmm. I felt it. I'm like, Lisa is not that loyal. Mm -hmm. I kept on telling them. And they were getting pissed at me. That's when they're like, oh, we don't like you anymore. And I'm like, listen to me. I don't care if you like me or not. Yeah. Listen to me. Okay, speaking of not trusting anyone, I have to ask you this. Oh. What is up with Wait, RC? Wait, hold on, guys. I oh, have a... Uh... Oh, no, God. I swear. <laughs> what is going hey, on? Guys. We'll That's going to be the next yes, question. Yes, the caller. Next caller. We have Sarah Dawson on yes. the line. Ooh. Hi, Dawson. How are hey, you doing? Dawson. Hey, Dawson. Dawson. Oh, she's got... Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Turn off that... Uh, we can hear the our show on. You're so, listening. Man... Is Peter she? just called out R.C. being so bitter. <laughs> she <laughs> is. is. How's your relationship? Hey. Oh, she's back. Hey, hey Dawson. Dawson, how you doing? Hey, guys. I'm doing pretty freaking awesome. How are you doing? <laughs> Good. Thanks for calling in the show again. We love having you on as a guest. Yeah, of course. So last time we talked, we talked about your big moment where you almost kissed Jeff Probst. You had that <laughs> stare at him. You looked at him. Last Slow night, motion. one of Slow the motion. most buzzed about moments of the live finale show today that people are still talking about Amazing. is Amazing. you planted a kiss on Jeff Probst's lips. Lips on lips, running from the top row. She jumped. She flew. Jumping. She in front of, in front of his wife. She threw, she threw her heels and flew. I was like, oh my God, this is not happening. So we need to get all the info about this. Give us the inside scoop. When did you Amazing. think you were going to do this? Um, I Well, people have been tweeting at me the entire season. Oh my God, I have to kiss him again. and Get him on the lips, get him on the lips. And... Um, you know, this was my last shot. I've been watching every episode of Survivor this entire season, and um, and I see my man on TV, and I'm like, oh, my, my man. Uh, I don't know how Lisa <laughs> feels about that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, I completely took advantage of him. He's so a fun, was, I mean, it's, it's a fun thing. Can I ask you a question, Sarah? Yeah. With Abby, did Lisa hug you afterwards backstage? Question. Um, did she hug me backstage? Yeah, his wife, Lisa's uh, wife. 
Um, I think, but I mean, <laughs> I don't you have to that. hug me because I, <laughs> I, I grab <laughs> everyone. Oh, right. I so you that. hug everyone. She's a That's hug rapist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I'm a hugger. Was, so, was your kiss premeditative in the sense that you knew going into the finale you were going to do it, or was it a spur of the moment? I'm sitting here, they just played the package that I kissed him on the show, and here's my moment. What was it? They totally set it up, didn't they? It looked like they set, set up for it because, you know, they referenced it twice. In the in the show beforehand. So you so think like, you were oh, doing man. you think you were doing what they wanted you to do? Is that your argument? Well, of course. I mean, <laughs> they didn't ask me or provoke me to do anything. But as soon as I got on that stage, I unbuckled my shoes and hid them behind Carter. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew the only way I could get to him fast enough during the finale was. Barefoot. Honey, so I, just, I was you're worried you were gonna. I worried you were gonna like trip and fall. Like I was like, God, I'm like, what is happening? I was like, I didn't even know what was going on until it was too late. But I do have to say, Jeff didn't pull away right away. I've At seen all. that clip many times. I think he was no. in shock. He, he was in shock. And his eyes. Oh my God! I have to tell you about the look in his eyes. Was, oh. You looked oh, what did his, his lips feel like? <laughs> what did his lips feel like? That's what we want. And, oh. taste, and taste like. So delicious. Oh my, oh my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. They feel like, um, oh my, I, I've been trying to. Are you to having an words. orgasm no, right now? Apparently. What is going on, Dawson? <laughs> Just oh, I'm right. right now. I'm like so in the middle amazing. of shooting something, but. Oh um, his lips are just amazing. Have you read some of the comments online? I mean, there's actually some really yeah. good comments, but there's some actually really bad comments that people were like kind of pissed. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, people get pissed care. at everything you do in life. <laughs> I mean, it's true. my favorite show, and you know. Hey, you only live once. I, you got to just do what you yeah, got to do. Yeah, I only live once. I only play once. Right. So why not? I mean, I, his wife was sitting right in front of me, and she was laughing. She thought it was hilarious. <laughs> well, and backstage, he told me he thought it was awesome. So of course. It's great. There I mean, it's okay between us. You know, so if you ever want to do eyes. anything again in reality TV, it was actually one of the best things you could have ever yeah. done. Because everybody, Absolutely. everyone, you're as good as your last performance, and that was your last performance. Yeah, yeah. we we were right. Yeah, so that was a bang. I exactly. mean, I'll never be in front right. of him like that again. That moment. Um, well, you never know. That moment could get you back on a future season of Survivor, honestly. Uh, sure. On, yeah. I, I, as a fan. You think? Yeah. I thought as a that fan, would get me banned. No, as, as a fan, I could see them bringing you back one season. Like, order Here's list. Dawson. You remember her from making out with Jeff Probst, you know, two times in a row. Yeah. yeah. And oh my gosh, and I had on too much lip gloss when I kissed him. That's enough. That's like pretty much the only regret I have right now. <laughs> I was wearing too much lip gloss, so I, I think that I may have gotten some on him, and it might be on camera. So funny. So, is it the best kiss of your life? <laughs> oh my god, I've been preparing for this kiss since. It's since the day I was born. Your the day I fell in love with Survivor, I've been, I've been trying to get his lips. So. Oh, my, oh God. my God. It's so amazing. amazing. I love it. It's like an exclusive interview on yeah. the... the the, all the, the most talked about yeah. person we're, we're thrilled to and have And we have it, it here on the After Buzz. Exactly. No one else. Yeah. This is your first interview. After Buzz TV Woo! exclusive. Yeah, this is my first interview. So, yeah. Dawson, <laughs> beyond the kiss moment, were you happy as a fan Denise won in the end? I was, you know, because um, Denise did join my tribe mm -hmm. um, in the, at the first merge or when she and Malcolm were split. She did join my tribe. And... The fact that my tribe chose to keep her over me at our first opportunity to vote someone out, um, I wanted her to go far because she, I mean, she essentially took my spot in my alliance. So, you know, I wanted to go all the way. She's going to be in my shoes. I want those shoes to win. Yeah, yeah. Good. So, uh, good attitude. Yeah, good, good, attitude. Yeah, yeah, good, good justifying point. getting voted off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you got to do to rationalize it in your head. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we all say crazy or think crazy things in our heads, but I, I was thrilled that she won. Just thrilled. Um, I thought I thought Scoopin had a good shot initially, but um, Denise pulled it out. So, yeah. 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 Happy. Well, we are, thank you so much for calling in. We can hear in your voice how much you love the show and and Jeff and Jeff <laughs> clearly. And it's always a pleasure having yeah. you on the show. And you know, next season we'll definitely get in touch with you again. 
Thank you. Yeah, of course. Thank you so much. I love you guys. And it was awesome hanging out last night. You guys rock. We had fun. Awesome. Nice to meet you, babe. Thank you so Thank much. You. Okay. Ciao, Dawson. We'll kiss Bye. you next Ciao, time. Ciao, baby. Love you, Abby. Oh, you Abby's look so smooches, You looked gorgeous last night, by the way. Yes. That was gorgeous. So gorgeous. much love. So much love. Well, yeah. we, so much love last we, night. Yeah, we definitely thank you. We also want to thank all of our listeners, the entire season. We have had a blast bringing our after shows to you. From the beginning till the end, it's been so much fun for me. I know Ryan, AJ, Christina, and I, all of our guests have enjoyed it. So we definitely want to encourage you to keep, you know, go to iTunes, download all the episodes, give us ratings, comments, five stars, five stars, hopefully, and tell your friends. Um, we, we love doing the show. We want to do it next season for you guys. So even write comments on what you want us to do next season uh, in terms of guests and kind of change up the format if you have any suggestions. So thank you so much to all of our loyal iTunes listeners and Definitely download exactly. our show. We also tell them that probably tomorrow, the next day, the live interviews from yes. the red carpet will be. So on you want to real all quickly right. tell all of our fans what you and Christina did? Yeah. Well, last night we interviewed uh, Mike Scoop and Denise and Lisa and Malcolm on the red carpet. Got some inside scoops. Had just a really good time with them. And um, Malcolm is so sexy, by the way, and so <laughs> tall. I love me a tall man. But, uh, You're not that short. <laughs> well, I, like, I, like, I like a tall man. And, you know, Christina was getting crazy trying to get phone numbers from people. You know. <laughs> uh, she's our little networker. Yep, that's, that's me, the little that's networker. Bee. Yeah. We have to say that the, the backstage, <laughs> though, was a little too bit because it was like... We were like in the corner and we just started moving people out of the way. I mean, I think we were more fun than the actual. You know, oh, for Chanel. sure. We definitely. were out of control. Because I wasn't yeah. there. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. She don't, I was actually fun. upset about that because normally they have the final five, <laughs> they have the final four this time. And I'm like, God, Abby would have been great right. for press. Yes. You, you had your own commercial, the most annoying survivor I player know. ever. You don't even get to come down the red carpet. I know. That Which was you're, dumb. Not, you're not Mons. that annoying. You're not you're not that annoying. Yeah, it's weird because they substituted the final five in the finale for having a reward challenge instead mm -hmm. of it being the final five. Which uh, you know that reward challenge slash immunity helping clue thing. It was right. fun to watch, but you know Malcolm yeah. didn't win. Yeah. Yeah. Work, so yeah, definitely check out those interviews. I'm excited <laughs> yeah. to check That'll them out and see yeah. what you guys did. Yeah, cool. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So in any case, we mm. get back to the show, and in the end, Lisa and Scoopin decided to vote off Malcolm. He got blindsided when he went home. He was shocked, and the final three he was, was pissed. He was pissed. He was not so pleased. And what did he say right when he got voted off? He stood up, he's like, congratulations, Denise. You bait, you won a million dollars. Right. So, you know, it was just kind of the, it was the argument of who's going to stay and win the million dollars. Mm -hmm. Abby, if Malcolm were in there with uh, Scoopin and Lisa, would Malcolm have won? Ooh. I don't know. Yesterday I didn't raise my hand, so, so I was why, why that. You, why? I think that, the, remember because he did that yesterday, he asked all of them. I thought that was like, that didn't even count. Well, no, it's because once you see a season, you're, right. you're, you're taken out of it, the mindset. Right, you have to he go back so, to where you were back then. Let's do a little exercise, Abby. Put yourself back in the jury when, let's say, Denise would have been voted off and Malcolm would have been there mm -hmm. with Lisa and Scoop, and his argument would have been, I outlasted the entire game. I had uh, these immunities. I formed these alliances. He's well, he's well spoken. He's well spoken. Really, really charming. Mm -hmm. What do you think really would have charming. happened? Oh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, no wearing my, I'm wearing my tan dang buff. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go, one of the tan dangs would have won. You think so? No, he would have won. <laughs> he would have won it. Have won it. Okay, won. I'll say it. He would. Here's a question I have for you. I was, towards the end of the season, predicting, I, for a while, I was predicting Lisa, and I thought that most of the jury being tan dang would kind of recognize they had this experience with her from day one. She was gonna get voted off. She was first to go, and then she got to the end. We all thought she was going to so, go. So yeah, early. we thought she was going to be a floater. Nobody the picked whole her time. in our fantasy league because we all thought she would go right away. Right. So in terms, of, that didn't really play a role. It seems. Her her problem was flip flopping. Okay. That was it. Yeah. The, the flip flopping. That's why she didn't win it. So people viewed she was her. like Mitt Romney. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's interesting. Um, other people have mentioned that about Lisa Wenchel because, like, her edit was incredible. Like, everyone just fell Lisa in love Wetchel, with her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was Lisa Wenchel, mm -hmm. of course. And, you know, got the fans' favorite. Yeah. And a lot of people said there was no way that she could have won the million dollars because she was a flip flopper. She was a floater. Yes. A lot of it was talk, and it was off the record of her talking about her strategy, what yeah. she's going to do. Yeah. But yet we didn't see any action in the, the game delivery, yeah. where she was doing it mm -hmm. at all. Yeah. It was very passive, and I and mentioned it before. It was very 
passive aggressive. I would say the one thing that she did yeah. though, yeah. the one thing that I thought that she did though was she was always very honest, uh, mm -hmm. literally about everything. So you can she never was. say that she was like, like she would, she told you, like I was with you in the beginning, but hey, this is just like she just laid it all out there, which we mm -hmm. always thought that she was spilling too much tea. Mm -hmm. so. But that hurt her, though, because uh, she didn't forgive me, and I was expecting a forgiveness. The fact Christians that she, are supposed to forgive. The fact that she did not <laughs> forgive me, that's when she lost my vote, because I begged her. I was right. like, please forgive me. Like, So she didn't forgive you for your actions? No, because, of, like, because I doubted her. Okay. And I thought that was a bs excuse not you know I, I that like her not forgiving me mm -hmm. was like okay you have another alliance that i don't know about do you know mm -hmm. what it was to be honest with you in my opinion is when you guys were having the conversation you how you were talking or didn't seem sincere my like approach. it's like yeah it's yeah. like when you apologize to someone you mm -hmm. kind of just mm -hmm. back up and you yeah. just say listen i am so sorry i did not mean to do it. but you kind of still were a little bit bitchy you know, so a little. I, I mean, just a that's, royal. You were, a, you were a bitch. It's so weird watching. And I love how you of, own up to it. Right. Yeah, I was just saying, <laughs> knows now. Watch, she can watch. She's just a smart girl. Watching, sitting across the table, watching you in person, you have changed, and I can like see it in you, and I don't even know you, but it's kind of like you're being humble. No, she's being humble about right. the experience, not necessarily right. changing to a new person, oh. but even in that interaction with Ryan, it was. You're humble about it, yeah. right? Well, I just think, don't you think that when you're in the game, you're, you're yeah. in the game, you're such a, it's like you're a different person. And the second it ends, you're like, okay, I'm back to me now. I'm not yes. like a savage. Yes. God. It's yes. weird. You, yeah. you really go back to these the weird animal instincts yeah, that aren't really, really like the nicest yeah. form of humanity. Yeah. So I want to know. Uh -oh. What is the beef with RC? Yeah, we need to go and back even, to RC. Back and to RC. even with Pete saying someone's better, explain to us, Abby. She just. She hasn't moved on. I think she's mm. still playing the game. I don't outside know, like, of the game. Outside of the game, and that's the worst. Out of all the players, who do you hate the most? <laughs> <laughs> hate is such a strong word. <laughs> who that do you dislike the most? Who do you dislike the most? You know, I don't dislike anyone. And yes, hate you is a really oh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. We Abby want a name. We, know and love. we want a name. Don't let him bully you. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Gays can't bully. Uh, <laughs> you know. RC, I mean, have you guys read any of her exit interviews? She called me uneducated. And she's, <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. That's the school, she, Fighting and, words. Yeah, and she said that I, I was so insecure that I couldn't, like, stand next to her in a bikini. I have no issues with my body. No. Like, mm -hmm. I'm fine. Yeah. It's funny, she yeah. comes across nice, but I guess it's just a whole different thing with you guys. She's a New Yorker. Right. I you guess know, it's the kind of, she's I guess it's a cultural too. thing. No. <laughs> uh, we had many debates on our show about if it was cultural or not. I said no. I said no. She said I yes. said it could be yes. cultural. We like when you were explaining like how good the food was and like, oh, it was so wonderful. So excited You're excited I was. Explaining it. I thought it was a cultural thing. She had already said that she, that's when she watched it and she said, that's, I lost my mind. I stand corrected, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so it's I not, wrong. Was not cultural. Fail. It's not cultural. It was crazy. <laughs> that was really funny. Though. It was so funny. Yeah. I was laughing at myself. I was like, oh my God. I was like face palming, like Peter says. I'm like, oh no, oh face palming. Yeah. The best thing was watching everyone else's face. And then when you started reading them, I just heard my name and you sat up and you were just like, <laughs> I, I'm not deaf. I may not be able to speak well or whatever you said. It was so funny. The gays love me, by the way. The gays they love, love me because, yeah, it's sharp. So yeah. funny. Yeah. Like, Quick witted. Yeah. So talk about Jeff Kent. Awesome guy. I mean, I'm an SF girl, you know, deep in my heart. So mm -hmm. I wanted to steal his ring last night. Oh my God, give me that ring. Amazing. Really great guy. A gentleman. Very, very nice. Cool. Do you think, in terms of the game regarding him and Lisa, if people would have known their backstory, would that have changed how people played with them? I mean, who would want to give them a million dollars? Do you think on the jury? So one thing, you know, in the the one of Penner's points in his speech during the live finale, or not the live finale, the the final tribal council to Lisa was he outed her. How about for, that, right? I kind of was oh, pissed. I, thought it was, at I that. was pissed at I it too. Was, I kind of like beat it. me fucking. Oh, I thought pissed. it was amazing. I was, I was like, furious. I was yeah. pissed. I thought it was so. I don't. It was so weird to me. Like, and I just when you seen her face was just like I was like. But she had a great comeback. She, she tackled it so amazing. well. Did handle it with grace. She, and she was amazing. But like with grace. First of all, Penner's entire you know closing statement basically was mm -hmm. unbelievable. Yeah. Like he was very much yeah. like this. But that was like I think. Maybe as gay men, someone being just outed in general just was a little weird, even though it's not the same context. But it was just, I don't know. But it was it just so, rubbed me the wrong way. It was way. so self righteous of him to be the one to do it. I right. felt like, and it was like, 
she the entire game that was not anything to who she was and then to throw that out there right before everyone's voting it was that so cheap it was so it was one of cheap. the worst moves i've ever seen so bitter of him and it made him look bad completely because they could have talked about it back in ponderosa and the jury and i could have instantly had became not a fan i was so mad at that yeah i was furious and and i i liked her rebuttal but i kind of wish she would have been the it's one the ryan to say and justin it. show now so, so anyways i kind of <laughs> yeah they don't abby and i like penner still no, I, I, like, I like penner too but i think it was sour grapes and i think yeah. the third time you played the game you made a big mistake you could have won it and you didn't so don't be sour right. towards lisa in the end because Especially she didn't they, stick with they you they were like this yeah the whole time do you yeah. know what I mean? it was, so. it was almost like he was bitter that he she didn't stick she was a player and she actually made a move when he said no right but it was almost i i wish she would have been the one to say you know what penner Fine, I'll tell everybody, and then kind of explain what she said to him. Good point. I didn't yeah. like that yeah. he did it for her. We offered her. the right. final yeah. four position, yeah. and you declined it. And, yeah. yeah, and yeah. then that, she, you know, basically she said, well, what did you do? I, you know, it was kind of a good argument, but it didn't, did she, we don't know, did she, at the tribal council, did she talk about it all beyond what we saw on television? No, I don't remember she didn't. that. No. no, no, I don't remember that at all. Was it surprising was really surpri to you? Oh, my God, yeah, I had no <sighs> idea. I had no idea who she was. I had no idea who Jeff Kent was. So she didn't say, you know, listen, that was years ago. I'm not rich because of it or anything like that. Nothing. Wow. Did they reveal it yes. after, like, when the game was over, you know, and after you guys did your vote, and then when they're done, did you yeah. guys talk about it? Well, yeah, uh, we were all know. very surprised. When we went back to Ponderosa, we were really surprised, yeah. Do you think it changed anyone's votes? I'm pretty Probably. sure it kind of. Really? Yeah, I really? think so, yeah. I mean. Did it change your vote, or were you already not No, I already for? knew who I was going to vote for. Yeah. How many people, we've had that discussion, how many people out of the eight just maybe guess percentage or numbers go into that final tribal council and already have their minds made up oh you already have your mind made up okay back at ponderosa like, you guys are going back and forth talking about it oh yeah we were like really taking it seriously so when yeah. someone when someone like, oh yeah you study it oh you study yeah. it yeah, you debate we were, about it too with other lot, people yeah yeah so a lot. when someone like penner is fighting for denise to win does that influence a lot of people's votes oh yeah he did influence us a lot really yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All yeah. Right. So he wanted he he, he wanted her attorney. to be the the, oh, yeah. the person on the chariot. I need to look at his Ponderosa videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to look those up too. And the next next <laughs> season interested. we have to make a pact that we're all watching Ponderosa videos yeah. in addition to the we're show. We're gonna do Ponderosa recaps after <laughs> yeah. this. Uh, Maybe we should go to Ponderosa and we <laughs> could do our exit interviews there. <laughs> That's that, and I I am a part of it too because I told Scoopin and Lisa and I'm like you guys are not working with me. You are. I, I can't say the word, but. I know, I swore. Yeah, I can't swear. Yeah, I you are in dip. What's going on in the control? <laughs> do -do. Uh, yeah, I do -do, yeah, I guess. <laughs> no, I, I got your other like, guest you on the line what? when you're ready. I right. told them, I'm like, right. I'm going because I influenced them at Ponder Rose. So I'm like, you guys are not working with me. You'll see. You see my comeback. You mm -hmm. see, you guys are not winning. Okay. So we have Matt Quinlan from Survivor One nice. World, also known as the Rooster and the Hawkeye. Sexy Matt the Quinlan. Sexy Matt. Hey, Matt. Uh, what's up, guys? <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I'm good. We we're surprised you didn't come out and come hang out with us this weekend. Yeah, you're not too far I away. Know. I know. I, I got a few uh, tweets and texts from some of the survivors on me to come down, but I was kind of busy up here this weekend with the holidays and everything. I had a few commitments. I couldn't make it, but I saw the pictures. It looked like it was a lot of fun. We're so cute in our pictures, right? <laughs> <laughs> you liked us on Instagram, right? <laughs> <laughs> So Matt, yeah, exactly. I'm following everybody, keeping in touch. Good. Nice. Matt, being on last season, you know, watching this season, what'd you think of the end and the, the final four and the results? I thought the season was great. I mean, I was pulling for Scoop and ultimately at the end. Prior to that, I was actually pulling for Abby. I think Abby's there right now, right? She is. Yeah. Hey, Matt. Hey, what's up, Abby? What? I'm, I'm always preferential to a good villain, so yeah. uh, I was pulling for her, but... <laughs> But, um, you know, I, I mean, Denise definitely deserved it. Um, I kind of was following for the Malcolm edit, too. I mean, he, he got a really good edit, and so I liked him and was pulling for him. But, um, you know, I didn't think Lisa really had much of a shot, and, and I think Denise played a good game and deserved it. I think Scoopin also deserved it. Um, but, I mean, I was satisfied. I thought it was a great ending and a great season. Yeah. What would you say was the big surprise to you in the whole entire game? Like, what were the big plays? What were the things that were major shockers to you? I was surprised at how much just infighting there was. Um, 
you know, there seemed to it seemed trying to keep the peace out there seemed to be rather difficult. And I know Abby was in the in the center <laughs> of a lot of that with Pandang and whatnot, but it surprised me that everybody wanted to fight with each other so much. And I think that's the function of having so many strong personalities on the beach together. It's it's tough to get along when everybody's, you know, an alpha personality. So um, it just surprised me a little bit. And I think there was maybe bigger personalities in the uh, Philippines than there was in the world. Um, so it made for, for more drama. And, uh, and so I found that surprising because it was different than, than what I saw in my season. But uh, I enjoyed it. What did you think of the Dawson kiss last night? Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I, thought, I mean, part of me thought it was entertaining. I'm not surprised it happened. It was kind of foreseeable that she might do something like that. And another little part of me thought, come on now, you know, Jeff's married his wife sitting in the crowd. So, That's what my mom you know, said. I took it. Mm -hmm. What's up, Abby? That's what my mom said. My mom was pissed. She's like, oh, my God, if someone would have done that to your dad, I would have been really upset. Sabrina mm -hmm. from your season was furious, too. I was reading her post. She wasn't pleased. Oh, really? Oh, she yeah. was outraged. Oh, she was uh, outraged. Really? Yeah. Because she wanted to do it? No. Oh, <laughs> Sabrina's a classic girl. I know. Yeah, I know. She's I know. a good girl. Yeah. Yes. I love her. So in you, know, you never you never know too how much of that stuff is kind of orchestrated. You it know, wasn't. I can help but wonder like did Cubs talk to her about this before? No, it was just, not Matt. She was the call. You were really surprised. Yeah, she was just on wow. right before you and she said it was completely not planned. It was not. It, really it, it, it just seemed perfect. You know, they play the video of it happening, then boom, here she comes and plants one on him. It was not. Like we were in shock. Yeah. I was like, what the heck? Like, she went flying. She jumped through <laughs> us. It was crazy. I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? Yeah. So, Matt, as someone who played the game and then watching this season, how do you watch it differently now? <clears throat> Yeah, I just watch it Watch it with, um, honestly, my heart is in these things so much, and I can relate to everybody and what they're going through so much more. And it obviously makes you, you know, play the what-if game in your mind. And you kind of fall in love with the game all over again. So it's it's, yeah. it's great to watch because it's meaningful, but it's also somewhat difficult in a weird way to watch it too. But, you know, I'm addicted, so I keep watching. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to call in and chat with us. We really appreciate it. Christina loves you. She says only good things about you. Yeah. I, I love you, too. <laughs> Me, too, Matt. Yeah, I love you, too. It. So thank you so much. Thanks, Matt. All right. Take care, Matt. Bye. Bye. It is fun hearing all, you know, just past contestants, you know, just loving the game and loving right. watching it. And well, it's like the Super Bowl oh. yesterday. So it's like everyone from all over the place. So it's, it's all excited. Better than it. the Super Bowl. It, it is better. It's than definitely it. better. Hopefully so, you'll get on one day. Yeah, I know. One day. One of the things we were talking about is kind of the jury. We had a bitter jury last night. You know, in assessing the jury, a lot of bitter questions, a lot of bitter attitudes towards the final three. So, you know, I think it would be good to kind of go through a few of those that stuck out. We, you know, first we kind of hit Penner a little bit. Um, RC was what, bitter. What did you like about Penner's, you know, his <laughs> a long speech that he gave? He didn't this, even ask a question. This is why I liked his speech so much is because um, he would talk to them and, like, build everybody up, and then his last sentence would, like, literally slash you. Mm -hmm. He would, like, literally would, and you were just like, holy shit. <laughs> to, to scoop and he said, you know, in your first season and this season, you never got one cast vote against you. Well, that's going to stay the same. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. You know? Ooh, Everything yeah, was, was good. Yeah, and he yeah. cut Lisa, Sharp. like, the worst, oh, the worst, yeah. and that was bad. But then, like, he did the same thing with Denise, too. Like, where... In the beginning, like Denise is all smiling, looking at it like this, and literally they're just like, <laughs> oh. seeing them get <laughs> cut down. It's just like horrifying, yeah. you know. And it's, that stood out to me. And also when Malcolm was kind of mean to Denise mm -hmm. too, I, I, mean, I just thought that was a little, that was inappropriate to me too. I didn't like that either. I don't like that either. Yeah, because they telling had... another person not to do something is just like, you don't own me. I don't care what this is. Right. I, I'm not like yeah. your. What was the vibe watching Malcolm kind of tearing the de Denise? He was pissed. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. When he came to Ponderosa, he was not happy. But here's the thing. I want. Like you he probably so had conversations close. with him about this. He made the move first against Denise. Right. So how can you be pissed? I mean, clearly you're going to be pissed when you say right. that. Right. Clearly, you're gonna be, clearly you're going to be pissed. <laughs> right. But then take a step back. You tried to get her out first, and then she beat you at your own game. Right. Mm -hmm. She's not going to vote for herself. Yeah. It's either it's, there's one or the other. Yeah. So like, I'm sure that's why he's rationalized it now. And there obviously must be cool. Yeah. But, oh, like, they are. Yeah. It seems tight. like he was fine last night. Yeah, yeah. He was drinking. He was yeah. having a good they're time. Tight, definitely. <laughs> yeah. But I think he it also was a little stab that you know he didn't win fan favorite and was by like less than one oh, percent of a point point seven gosh okay you know they had to give it to lisa no it's the right. fans we all loved both of them right. this is the thing this season i don't know how many people no, i've talked good, to there's too many lawyers you can't you can't fix <laughs> no, that they, no okay she has yeah, 30k plus followers on twitter she, right. she, she has a she already has a huge fan base the, yeah exactly yeah. She, yeah. Yeah. you couldn't compete is. you can't even if she didn't yeah. win fan versus favorite she won this season in terms of she'll probably be on a talk show or have her own talk show after 
after this. Or and she's, she deserves she's good it. To go. she's and she right. deserves it. Beautiful yeah. person. Beautiful. She has such a good heart. Yeah. I, I really apologize to her whole family, by the uh, way. That's why I made a, you know, I went up to all of her daughters, her son. Beautiful family, right? Gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. See, one thing about Lisa I'll say, too, because, you know, I'm obviously not, like, a big Christian kind of person. Um, yes. But she is so religious and everything else, but she does it with, like, it's not, like... Grace. Grace. That's It's yeah. true. It's true. Like, even in our interview we did with her yesterday, she's like, yeah, she's like, you don't want to come across as, like, that crazy Christian. So she knows that there are there is that faction of Christianity that turns off a lot of people like yeah. myself. But, she, I like, it didn't bother me when she would talk about yeah. God so much. Like, and when normally that kind of stuff, like... I forget what se when the season coach was on, where they literally were praying Ugh. every two minutes. Was I was just like, "Is this? I can't handle all much. these prayer stuff. Too much, too right. much, too much." But like, it was like, <laughs> I don't know. It just came. It came across authentic, and that's her life. But it wasn't pushy on anybody yeah. else. I got in an argument with someone this morning because they're like, "Oh, did you watch Survivor?" And Lisa talking about religion. Usually, I agree with you. I hate when people bring religion in the game, like God cares who's going to win Survivor. Right. But when Lisa spoke at the live finale yeah. about religion and how she really looked at it as God loves me for me. Is God invested in me that I didn't win? Yes, because he loves me. Is God invested in Denise that she won? Yes, because he loves Denise. She brought it into such this right. perspective that, right. that was, it was well beautiful. Said. Well said, yeah. Very well said. It was I the, don't believe in God at all, but it was beautiful. It was the first <laughs> time in the game after 25 seasons where religion, I saw it in such a different perspective. And I was like, wow, 25 seasons later, someone can do this. Right. I wanted to go and to you, church afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> well, you watch her, like, transform and through all the whole entire process, too. And it's mm. just, like, amazing. Like, we're growing with her, too, as she's yep. battling through, uh, how do I play this game without my heart? And then, like, strategize. But also, how do I come off as not being an overbearing person, right. mm -hmm. pushing on my belief? in a non-aggressive way. Another She's thing about like, her, too, yeah. is, like, I literally cannot even watch her when her hot brother comes out <laughs> and she's crying. So like, I just, I literally, Me too. Oh, I, just, I just start bawling. I, just, I have to go like this. I'm like, Aww. it's too much. The best it's... cry. She should get an Emmy for that. That was a good <laughs> cry. Such a good cry. That was a supporting amazing. Amazing. I'm like, so best nice. supporting cry. It is, she, I love the split screen the show. they showed, too. The split yes. screen they showed of her, like, six hours before that and then afterwards. Great. Like, yeah. that just, it was, yeah. it's amazing. She yeah. just exudes love and just this positivity. Yeah. Powerful cry. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's awesome. So back to the kind of a final tribal council. Anyone else that got in your guys' mind is a good list? stood out? In the, in the you were kind of bitter, but not you were Abby. You we were, were expecting we were expecting, we were, yeah. we were expecting yeah. you to lay the gauntlet down. Yeah, yeah you, I know. when you stood up to walk over there, she was, look at that dress. She looked fierce. <laughs> look at I that ass. Told her. I mean, she was like <laughs> it seemed... click, 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 like ready to go. <laughs> you looked great in that dress, by the way. Thank you. Fabulous. Thank it looked you. like Jeff Kent was a little bit bitter too in yeah. the jury. Yeah. Like you can see even like in this Ponderosa video, he's like sitting there with the pool, like mm -hmm. holding it. It's like. Can't believe I'm out here. He just wanted to go home. Yeah, yeah he wanted to go home. And he artists, wanted his family. Artists seem bitter out of no. I kind of it was even really get to know artists this season. At he all says he naturally show. is that way. Yeah, he's just naturally that Angry way. Angry black so. man. That was funny. <laughs> that he was said funny. he was happy too, and I'm like, I didn't see any happy side. <laughs> right. So is we he got happy to you. He's really nice. He's always okay. really nice. Yes, okay. he's really nice. He how just about, looks angry when he's serious, I guess. <laughs> how about Carter, too? Whenever Carter came on the screen, the entire audience would just start laughing. laughing. I couldn't even hear what he was saying. Like, no. He just looks like a big stoner. or like I don't even know what he looks like, but every time they showed Carter, the entire audience would just laugh at him. We couldn't hear anything. That I don't good. think he even smokes pot. No. 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 He's, just, he's a super yeah. athlete. Like, he's, yeah, he's, he's a coach. Yeah. Right. What about Pete? Did you guys, you know, you were you guys close to Pete? Yeah, let's so talk about or... Pete. Let's talk about Ooh, Pete. Ooh, you know, my baby. He's, what do you mean baby. by that? Yeah, what do you mean? By that. We're really close. We're what does that mean? Close. close as friends? As kind of an More item? More than friends. As a survivor More than gossip. Friends. More than friends. <laughs> so you guys are trying to make maybe a, being a couple work? Yeah, we're trying to work on that, hopefully. So He's I, in New Jersey, though. That's the problem. On the finale, though, we did see him say some comment about, you know, Abby was the downfall of my game, and it's you know, true, blah, blah, blah. it's true though. It's true. It's true. He could still love her. He could still love her. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, how can you not love that? He's a hottie. He's a hottie. Yeah. He's hottie. a hottie in that body. He was oh a, my on god. My Final <laughs> Fantasy too, just because he was <laughs> he just hot. Picked him because of his body. I, I think it. he looks way better in person than he is on screen. So it's hot. just a different right. I'm like perspective. So are you getting him to move to LA? Is that? Yes. Oh, is can we talk about how you guys were laying on the couch? On uh, Saturday night? Oh, you never guys mind. didn't see us in Ponderosa. <laughs> oh. 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 
what's going down in Ponderosa. Uh, sexy time. Oh. oh. I think I said sexy time. time. <laughs> I think they, uh, we should hear a bit to get the, the two of them on the Amazing Race. That would be good TV. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Amazing Race. Because he knows how to push my buttons. It would be a lot of drama. He knows oh. how to push my buttons, but then he knows how to make me feel good. Feel good. He's pushing more I than mean, that, huh? Oh my oh, God! Yeah. You're oh, it's a great <laughs> campaign here. Speaking yep. of pushing it, did you have an announcement that you heard about Ponderosa too? No, I did not. I don't know what gossip you're talking about. Oh, okay, then never mind. No, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. But that's great that you guys are trying to make it work. Yeah. So when's he? Is he moving in with you or? Well, um, a lot of personal questions. Yeah. Here, man. Well, you you were talking about you met his fam already, <laughs> right? Right. Did. This They're is moving amazing. fast. This They're is moving fast. really yeah. great. I love the. Let's family. get a wedding special. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, let's have a baby already. Exactly. Oh my God. We've already got all your reality TV uh, life planned. <laughs> <laughs> this is your time to you know. I know. Too bad you had to fly home. He could have came here. No, we were cuddling all let's night. Still little cheers for Pete. Cheers to Abby and Pete. Yes. Congratulations. Beautiful baby. They would be beautiful. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> wow. What was that? What was that? I know. That was, that was a, a big party noise. A party noise. Oh, party party noise. noise. I oh. love it. I love it. Wow. Um, some great gossip there. So we get to the live finale. The you didn't say what your favorite thing was of the jury because I know you live for the jury. I do. You, oh, <laughs> did nothing God. really stand out for you? No, I was I was mad Don't at Penner. Don't make out with the mic. There. I was mad at Penner. He was towards the end though. He was so at, he was the very last one. Yeah. Um. You know what? I was kind of disappointed in the jury because all the questions were the same. It was yeah. bitter people getting up there and everybody, and not to like put you on the spot, but everybody asked the same question. Why of, do you deserve it? Why do you I deserve to win? I want questions that are more like give me a reason why they don't deserve to win or tell me one specific move that you made on your own that was a big move. You know, more right. specific. Or at least do some like what scenarios. Was Jeff, what was it that Jeff Kent said? And he was like, Jeff Kent said there are three play. three types of yeah. people. He said there are types that make moves, there are mm -hmm. types that watch them happen, and there are types that are after the moves are made are like what just happened. Right. So I did like that. I like I the, liked his I liked the point, yeah. but there was no question. It was a lot right. of people just making statements and kind of you know Good not point. really. I think asking he was trying to make questions. a point that the last statement was for Scoop. <laughs> My favorite thing are the reads is when, like, again, when they just have that face, they just, like, sit back and they're just like, I am, you can see them say, I'm not winning a penny. I like, know. you just see them just get wrecked and then oh. they get brought back up. It's just like, and let's just say, Scoopin does deserve a lot of credit. He was more well-spoken in the jury than I thought he would be. And he did have good, compelling arguments. He did. He was the returning player that had a bigger target on his back, even though Penner negated that and said he didn't. But he had that big target on his back, and he he, he won a lot of immunities. He made moves. He was the swing vote in many decisions, and he was mm -hmm. one of the cast votes that specifically got people voted off. So mm -hmm. I, I, I love right. seeing Scoopin go from 23 seasons later becoming a gamer compared to just watching the game. Going right. into the season, I didn't think he had it in him, but I was really proud that he Because did. we discussed this before with Colby, how different the game mm -hmm. is now, and then mm -hmm. like it's you literally can't play like how they did season two. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd be gone in the beginning. In the game, I just, like, him and I but it had so much yeah. that it was just hard for me. But, you know, knowing him now, he's such a decent, honest man, you know, father of seven. I thought... Ten. No, seven. I think ten? it's seven. Reading ten? the wrong block. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I counted ten on his like Facebook. I'm like one, two, three. Maybe a step. Or but it's, it, Abby, it yeah. seemed like kind of people had a perspective of him that he's just a goofball and fun guy, and you didn't, but he is that they didn't too. necessarily take him as serious as many people may have, or he wanted them to. Yeah. I don't know if that's is that true. Yeah, he was a goofball, mm -hmm. and yeah. It, 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 it's hard to take him seriously because he especially is when his face is bleeding. <laughs> yeah, I know, and he was just getting hurt all the yeah. time, and he actually almost killed me. Oh like we God. were, yeah, we like were really building, killed you. Like literally, like we were building this shelter, and then they did something, and then like it all like a matter of seconds, it would have like fallen oh. all oh my over my head. Yeah. But you I, almost killed him with the coconut. And I know, that with was the my machete. payback. <laughs> I mean, when they showed the clips of all of his injuries, they didn't oh even show all of them. It's no. just so funny. So funny. So funny. And you, you know, one of the moments I love in the final three is when they burn down the camp, burning down the camp. I love that tradition on Survivor. I love that too. Love Surprised it. he wasn't in there, you know, when right. they started burning it down. <laughs> Good thing he wasn't. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so final three, we know what happened. Obviously, the vote went down. Denise kind of blew it out of the water. Six votes for Denise, one vote for Scoopin, and one vote for Lisa. Uh, I thought it would be closer. Um, I did too. That, you know, as a, as a viewer, did you, Christina? What'd you think? I did too. I, you know, I wanted I wanted to ask who would have been the second place. Was it Scoopin or Lisa? Because they kind of tie that spot. Scoopin's claiming that he's second place. Oh, but really? with us, he's like, yeah, you know, I'm the runner up. And I'm like, uh -huh. not really. <laughs> <laughs> Shared runner up. You're tied. Yeah. So you're I guess tied. You could say yeah. That. 
Yeah. It's interesting. Uh, who do you give it to, Abby? Who do you give runner up position to? Lisa. Aww. I love her. Who did you Aww. think that was going to win? I really did think Lisa was going to win. I did win. too. I really did. You I know, really one of the reasons why I think Essence was because I felt like this, I mean, clearly this season was all about Lisa right. and her story and her arc and kind of this transformation and everything was. The whole season at the end was all through Lisa's perspective and Lisa's right. eyes and Lisa's words. But and it that just was seemed like an epic. It interview, seemed like it though. would be an epic win for Lisa. Right. Whereas they kind of Denise trailed off in the, towards right. the end of the season. She but this was is, just kind of there. This is what we said a bunch of times on camera and off with the, the yes. three of us is that like the viewers are getting a completely different perspective yes. of Lisa right. than the, like America fell in love with Lisa mm -hmm. watching the show, yeah. but like it didn't read with yeah. the cast. I mean, I can ask you, but like hey, they don't know her history, they true. don't know her story, Have they don't know no where idea. she came Very from. True. No they idea. just see her as this like you know kind of crazy older woman playing a game and doing a, a yeah. decent job of sticking around, but they don't know all the other baggage yeah. and all her internal struggles. Yeah. And just, she just spilled all of her tea too, which made her so attractive yeah. to America too. She just said everything. She put everything out in the open, yeah. mm -hmm. which no one else knows that. True. Yeah, we saw that, and we got to take that journey with. This her. is why I thought she had it because I thought again, Denise was a little cocky yeah. in her thing, so and I'm like, cocky. I thought it was like a little like whatever. And I thought that she got a lot of compliments from people yes. during the the jury deliberations, yeah. and so I. I thought she had it. They threw I was surprised. Off. Yeah. But you're right, Ryan. You know, the audience only see one side of it, the interview that we see, and the interactions, you never see that, like what's going on. So that's true. Well, it's funny because she won fan favorite, so America yeah. would, did vote her to yeah. win. Right. Yeah. America so thought she was yeah. going to win. Yeah. Right. But, you know. Well, and one thing, too, is I, I feel like I try to put myself in those positions. Even though I love Lisa and know her journey, I still I would have voted for Denise uh, in the finals because I've been saying— Because you're saying, a true player. I've been saying, like— exactly. I've been saying— you know, Lisa, I love, I want her to win, I want her to win. But when it comes... Because you love her. I love her. But yeah. when it comes down to it, Denise... Technically. Phenomenal. phenomenal. Right. In terms of you cannot just, argue yeah. against what she did and accomplished going to three different tribes last... I mean, it's just... It's right. crazy how she did it. And I loved when they were like, you're being passive and you're being kind of appeasing. No. That's how she got through the game. It was mm -hmm. strategic. And even Dawson said it. Denise should have gone first when she got put on that tribe. And Dawson went, then Katie went, and they just picked them off one by one by one, and Denise mm -hmm. survived. Malcolm right. still voted for Denise, right? Yeah. No? Yeah. Yes. So even yes, after all did, that, yeah. the read, he still was yeah. like, yeah. He just had to get it off his chest, but he still voted yeah. for her. Yeah. And it was, what did you guys think of the kind of live after show? Obviously, we talked about Dawson's kiss. We talked, um, you know, a little bit about that. But it was there anything else that stood out to you guys? As Bill, the warm-up guy in the audience, I, like, love him. He's My great. dad Bill loves Sindelar. him, too. He's so, I've known him Shout for, out to Bill Sindelar. I, I've literally known him for years, like, yeah. since, like, 2000. But uh, <laughs> he's, if, for those of you who don't, have never been to a live show, but there's always a person there to warm up the audience to get the, because it gets boring. You have to get right. everyone cheering and get everyone on board. So the applause is, like, comes naturally. On television, like, that was my dad's favorite part. So funny, part. he's yeah. so good. So funny, you know, he's so, yeah. so great, right? They're the most yeah. underrated people, but that's what he 100 percent could be a host yeah. in two seconds. He's he like is on a the host. Fly. He yeah. is a host. He is one. But I mean, so. a real host. Yeah, no, he is one beyond that. But in any case, yeah, the live finale. What, I thought, what I, show I was, is he hosting? He does his own content. Google him. I know, gay TV is not on anymore. Oh, it's not. No. Okay. And how surreal case, was the stage? It, it was great. It was exactly the same. When we travel cancel. Oh. Yeah. Wow. When we walked in, TV you're like, magic. Amazing. How many finales have amazing. you been to before? Um, I've gotten tickets. I've been to a handful. I can't remember, like two, two or three or so. Yeah, I've been to four. Yeah, it's it's just it's fun as a fan getting to go and kind of experience it live and right. yeah. you know at the finale. Uh, if you My if you were to watch when Jeff Ropes oh, yeah, walked down, <laughs> he walked right past me. Which was fun. I, I saw was the like, pictures. I was ready to like give me the urn. If you go on, <laughs> if you go on uh, your know. face, is it on your face? Uh, I'm gonna post it soon. Yeah, yeah. There's a, a picture of him. And yeah, it's so funny. It's, it's it looks fun. like that you're the, getting like yeah. you're on the show. Yeah, well, and I sometimes for Halloween I have dressed up as Jeff Probst before. I can pull awesome. off looking like Jeff Probst. He's so embarrassing. <laughs> Someone needs to dress up as me. Yeah, well, exactly. clearly. Yeah. yeah, I think People I'm gonna do. do the Abby I'm gonna do you this year. Yeah. I'll let you borrow the box. Yeah, perfect. You can't do the the skirt. So let's get some final thoughts on this season let's go kind of around like abby as you know someone from the season some final thoughts on the season it was amazing it was a life-changing experience for me clearly it was like watching me and just seeing how crazy i can be it just made me really like take a step back and be like you got to work on yourself a little bit, lady. Where do you go from here? From, therapy. From this? Therapy. <laughs> yeah, I'm therapy. therapy. Yeah, I'm therapy. 
you know, I'm starting a beverage company. Oh, that's right. Yes. Yeah. What's yes. it called? It's the SIE, and okay. you guys can check it online at zcocktails.com. Oh, nice. I've had X-I. it. It's really good. Thank you, babe. Mm-hmm. XICocktails.com. Great. Yeah, so I want to be the next uh, Bethany Frankel. Exactly. Oh, nice. And it has exactly. antioxidants. Christina, yes. how about you this season? What are you thinking? I loved it. You know, there were so many great characters that just, like, came out. Even, like... The unlikable players were likable, mm-hmm. so I really enjoyed yeah, watching this season. Yeah. Ryan, before we get to, we do have some news and gossip. We, we do. Get to. Um, I'll say this season more than the last season, and even the season before was much more emotional for me. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of like an emotional guy, anyways. Like I cried during Cole Runnings. I'm serious, <laughs> but like I know I'm a sensitive guy. No, but like I love that about the show that yeah. it makes you like sad, angry, and everything else, but like inspired. And this it like inspired me a lot. You know, oh, it's like making like meats here up. I know. I know. It's true. It's, I know. It's, no, it is. I'm telling you. It I, is. I'm like even kind of. Last, let me just say last last night at the finale, like I teared up a couple times. Like it's just so Aww, like I just I love, love the show. Yeah. I love everything about it. I yeah. love that I got to see Mark Burnett again yesterday and like Isn't see he everybody. Amazing? Like, he's so amazing. amazing. Yeah. And so just like I just love like a true heroine story. And Lisa just was so insp- inspiring to me. The show first. You actually teared up when you were talking to Lisa, and Lisa oh, teared up. I, I remember. Yeah. That. I think we had that I on made, tape. Yeah, Lisa was yeah. like yeah. starting to, to cry because I told her how ins- inspiring oh, she was. Yeah. Too. It's this. Sh- and then I asked for a Bible. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I think this. For, it's beyond <laughs> a show. People love you. It's beyond a show. Survivor is beyond is. a show. It is an experience. It is. It is so much more than just a television and reality right. show, and that's what I love about it. And this season, Abby, hats off to you guys and your castmates. It just made me fall in love ten times, thousand more times again with Survivor. I love this show from day right. one. But this season was so great in terms of the cast and the moves and the game. And the I remember, finals. it kind of started off so slow. We kind yeah. of were not really into it in the beginning. It was just like, oh, it's kind of boring. It's, let's let's pick it up. And I then it just got it. so good. It's I loved all the challenges. So great. They were, everything was great. Yeah, I, I loved it and happy with the end result. It, it's been awesome. And, and doing this after show has been so much fun. Um, yes. One thing before um, we kind of do our final send off for the season is some news and gossip. We have some news and gossip. All right. After Buzz TV yes. News. Yes. That was weird. So like it's coming down. Is that gunshot? <laughs> boom, boom, gosh. No. Let's um, not talk no, about, so, no, 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 talk about no, that. No, yeah, no. That's bad, bad, bad. So one thing that's always exciting about the finale is <laughs> getting a sneak peek into <laughs> next season of Survivor. And as a fan of the show, I'm excited, but also a little bitter that next season is Fans vs. Favorites, because I'm not one of the fans on the show, clearly. That's why I'm a little bitter. But Fans vs. Favorites, we're getting it again next season. And Reality Blurred is a reality gossip website for Survivor and other reality shows. Has a list. Oh, you guys got to close your ears, because they don't know anything about this. No, we don't. They don't, but... I don't want to know about it. Close your ears, then, Ryan, and I can quickly say. I'm going to run down really quickly. The list of contestants that are coming back as fans, or favorites for the show. We have Eric from First Fans vs. Favorites. We have Corinne from Gabon. Brenda from Nicaragua. Andrea from Redemption Island. She went up against Boston Rob. She's my girl. First voted off, never happened before Francesca. She was voted off first her season in Redemption Island. Philip Shepard, everyone knows Crazy Philip. Co- Cochran. Um, we have Brandon Hans. Uh, Hans always, always makes the next season. Hans. We have Dawn from uh, South Pacific. Who was on our show. She was. We love her. And returning Malcolm. We have yes. Malcolm. So it's. He's it, back? Oh. Oh, it's an wow. exciting. It's a rumor. Wow. This is not nothing official. We're not report, reporting refi- official news here. But if you Google it, there's lists out there, and these are yeah. the rumored contestants. Ryan, what do you think, real quick, on these rumored contestants? Um, well, I'll just say, you know, uh, Andrea is like one of my good friends, so I absolutely live for her. So I can't wait to nice. like, get, you know, shoot that with her. But Don, I absolutely love Don, and also just knowing that Brandon Hans is a complete loose cannon, especially <laughs> lately with stuff going on with him. Like, it's I hear he's what's going on lately with him. Not like I care. Yeah, well, if you go on his Facebook page, he's, there's some huge infighting between the Hans family. Oh, like, they're gosh. literally not speaking. Oh, he's gosh. blocked fr- on Facebook from each other. I mean, it's, he's definitely a wild wow. one. Interesting. So yeah, Russell Hans doesn't even like him either, and that's his they own nephew, they right? Up they're him. not even allowed to speak. Oh, and wow. It's 100%. It's kind like, of sad. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, I think it looks like a fun cast. It's going to be yeah. exciting seeing you next season. I'm already putting a prediction out there. History repeats itself. When players return from a back-to-back season and no one's seen their season, they do very well. Malcolm, Final Four. Already saying it. He's Predicted well. Malcolm in the Final Four. But and the uh, Francesca thing is weird. That's really weird. Is she really a favorite? How are they going to justify her being on the show? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, no one's going to even know who she I is. I didn't know who she was when I read this. I kind of totally I forgot. I did. I actually I, I compared. Well, I compared her to like as 
as like what kind of personality do you emulate and a little bit of Francesca because I could be a little feisty and you know oh, she's feisty she's great she but I'm feisty. saying like yeah. we yeah. all know her from like reality stuff but like just I think that the general public will have to like think They're not, no one, yeah. as a, I don't remember no one's gonna remember her you know clearly as one of the favorites but right. it'll be interesting it's gonna be Cochran's fun. always fun too just because he's Cochran. such a he's fan and he's such a fan. dork yeah. and yeah. horrible it's at everything fun, but, and then I think you know Philip Shepard is yeah. also gonna be an it's, amazing be, entertaining person it should be fans versus crazy characters. Yeah, that's, that's what, what it should, should be. Because you know, like, like, Philip, is he going to show up with all those scarves oh, and hats yeah. that he wears all the yeah. time? And then Eric, the he's a complete hippie too. Yeah, yeah. Eric. So it's going to be like fun. And I like Corinne. We'll definitely yeah. be Corinne back. We'll be good. back next Lama. season. We just want to yeah. say... When does it start? Uh, it's February. It always starts after, you know, used to like start after February the Super Bowl. February 15-ish. Yeah, so soon. So right. get ready yeah. for the next season. Thank you all so much for being involved in AfterBuzz. Before we sign off, Abby, where can people find you? Where can they find Twitter, me? Yeah. What's your Twitter? Oh, What's your address? S your home yeah, address. Oh, no. Ask the Abby Maria, the one and only. Perfect. I'm uh, Ryan A. Carrillo on Twitter and Ryan Allen Carrillo on Facebook. I am Christina underscore Cha. You can find me on Facebook, Christina Cha82. Justin F. Walter on Twitter and then uh, Facebook.com slash Justin Walter host on you Facebook. Barely remember I didn't that. even remember he that. It's a cue card. Again, thank you all so much. We've had a blast doing the after show. Definitely tune check in next Check out our season. live interviews. But yeah, Thanks check out the live me. interviews. Thanks for coming, Abby. Thank, you were awesome. Thank you, Abby. Love you. Thank you so much. You You're annoying. Oh, no, no. <laughs> next time you need to bring your drinks. Yes, yes. I you came from the hotel. Bottle. I yeah. came from the hotel. You came from the island, apparently. Yeah, yeah I came from the island. Oh, there we go. Cheers. 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 Great ching, season, ching. everybody. Ching, Love y'all. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz! Buzz. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.